Are you generating leads with Google Ads and things might have slowed down a little bit, gotten too expensive, you might have hit a rut, or if you just want to make sure that you have the right strategy, in this video I'm going to tell you the best Google Ads lead generation strategies for 2024. So stick around to the end of this video because there's some tips in here that you don't want to miss. My name is Chelsea So and I have helped generate millions of leads and overseen hundreds of millions of dollars in advertising spend over the course of my 20 year career specializing in Google Ads. And I have some tips that are going to help you improve your lead generation strategies in Google Ads today. So tip number one is to focus on people who need help today. There's a lot of people who are researching, who are not ready to take the next step, but if you use Google search to laser target the people who are ready to take action today, you're gonna see a massive improvement in your lead quality, in your lead cost, everything's gonna flow a lot smoother. And yes, there's a time and a place for other strategies, but for lead generation at its core, you want to use Google search and you want to be targeting the people who are actively looking for you and ready to take that next step today. The second tip for your lead generation strategy in Google ads is to understand that the ads job is to get the click. The landing pages job is to get the lead. And so a lot of people try to sell in the ad and that has very limited character space. And so you're not trying to convince anybody of anything. What you're really trying to do is demonstrate relevancy and uniqueness. So are you relevant for what that person needs and is looking for? Check that box, yes. And then are you unique? Is there something special about what you offer? Do you have a unique selling proposition? Make sure that that is clearly communicated in your ad and that will help get your click-through rate. So the amount of people who see your ad to the amount of people who click on it, it'll get your click-through rate higher so that then more people will come to your landing page and that is where you sell people is on your landing page. Tip number three is to always be testing. Now, there are ways that you can test different ads in Google. You can test different headlines, different descriptions with a multivariate testing with a responsive display ad. I highly recommend doing that. You can also split test your landing page to improve your conversion rates on your page. All of these things will help to multiply your, your results to improve exponentially into the future. And so you want to always be testing strategically, testing smart, and improving your results, always trying to beat the control. And how do you beat the control? It's by really trying to get creative, trying to, uh, the better you can understand who your customer is, the better you can speak to them and their needs and their desires. And so you wanna test different iterations on those points and in improving your relevancy, the usability of your page, all these things will help to improve your results in your Google Ads. Now the best funnel strategy for lead generation in Google Ads is really a website form. And so if you're sending people from a search ad to a landing page, you want a form on that page and you also want to include a phone number. So people who are going to be researching uh, different solutions for what they need, they're either gonna call you right away or they're gonna be a little bit, you know, not really ready to talk to somebody right this instant, but they're gonna give you their contact information and take that next step. Um, they also might initiate a live chat just to get some information, but the best funnel that I have seen work really well in Google Ads is a lead form. That can be a multiple step form, but typically it's just a small form on your landing page to get their contact information and then follow up with an immediate phone call is the ideal scenario and text messaging even more so and that is the best funnel to generate leads from your search ads. Tip number five is to treat mobile users differently. Now somebody who is looking and clicking on your ad from their mobile phone, they're in a different state of mind, they're in a different environment, they're, they have different limitations as far as the device that they're using when they're viewing your ad and your landing page. And so you wanna treat these people different. Now, 
these people might be more inclined to call you because it's a really quick click to dial out to your phone number if they're already on their phone. So you wanna be conscious of that in your landing pages and make sure that it's easy to call you by clicking on your landing page on your phone number. And that person is going to also not be scrolling very heavily. They're not gonna be reading very heavily. So you wanna make sure that your landing page is tailored specifically to mobile audiences. If it's a responsive landing page where it's a little bit different for desktop users versus mobile users. That is ideal because you can really tailor it to that person who's on their mobile phone. So make sure that you're tailoring your experience for those users depending on the device they're on, particularly a mobile device. Tip number six for your lead generation strategy on Google Ads is to track your offline sales performance and give that data back to Google. So Google has something called offline conversion tracking. And so that's when you take a website visitor who came to you via Google and then became a lead and then communicated with you offline, either over the phone, ideally over the phone or in person. So you want to track all of that information and give that data back into Google. And so there's different parameters that you can attach to that person once they become an offline lead. And so then you would then attribute that back to them when you tell Google, yes, this person was a good lead and you can track them separately, but that's gonna be a huge factor in being successful is knowing exactly what leads and what clicks resulted in actual customers and revenue for your business so that you can push into that further. So offline conversion tracking is a really great strategy for 2024. Tip number seven is understand Google's AI. Today, AI is everywhere. Google's been doing it for a super long time. Their AI is powerful and it is really unavoidable. And so you need to fully understand how their AI works, what its limitations are, what its requirements are, so that you can use it effectively. And then really you want to employ it on your behalf as a super powerful tool to get you good results versus not really understanding how it works or what it needs and it can really work against you in that situation. So take the time to really study, to learn, to ask questions, to test different things so that you can understand what the AI needs and wants so that it can do a good job for you. Now having the right lead generation strategy won't be enough if you're not able to maintain it to reiterate as things change into the future. And so if you're looking for help with that, you can work with us. There's more information about how to do that below. If you have ever spoken to a Google rep and asked them for advice and for help, check out this video. I'm gonna share with you some tips on just some things to look out for and things to be aware of before you take a bunch of advice from a Google rep. So I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below and I'll personally respond to them and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.